In the first tutorial of this series, when we ran the performance tests using the Picasso library, the results weren't so great. And some of the feedback I got was to run the image gallery using the Glide library. So here we go. See June, I do listen. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorial. My name's Nigel. From the intro, you can gather we're going to be implementing or calling the Glide libraries, um, image libraries for our image gallery. Um, I had some feedback to run these tests and a quick look at the library documentation. Um, it seems to be well suited for this sort of application for speeding up the um, scrolling of um, yeah, your images in the image gallery. So let's make a start. So the first thing I need to do is to install the Glide library. So I'll go to the website. Here's the location and GitHub for it. Scroll on down to the readme. And it says Glide is a fast, efficient open source media management and image loading framework for Android and it can be used for memory and disk caching, resource pooling. All sounds good stuff, sounds applicable for what we want. Um, installation instructions and examples how to use it. So this slide here should be applicable all I need to actually call the Glide I, like, to call the Glide API for our recycle view image gallery. First thing we need to do is install it. Um, I'm just going to grab this dependency here and go back into our um, Gradle script. Into dependencies, just paste it in below. Save that. Now we need to resync the Gradle files. Wait for that to happen. Okay, that took a little while, but it's now completed. The uh, um, Gradle synchronization and configuration is now done. So now I can go with the API call to Glide. So I'm going to call this from inside my image adapter and an onbind view holder. Now remember from the previous tutorials, we've set up all the caching code, the async task codes, but I can just comment out this section here. Okay, and now it's just a matter of calling the Glide API. I believe it starts up with Glide. And now I need to just go back to look at the instructions here. Glide with this context, <coughs> and then we load into, okay, Glide with. And now we need to get the content context and we can get that from the image view itself so I've got to call the holder get image view get context and we load the file the file is the image file and is I believe it into into the image view And that's all I need to do, I believe, at this stage. So next step is to run it on the device and see what sort of performance we get out of it. I'll click Run. Choose our Nexus 4. <coughs> Applications now started. Let me record so you can see what's on the screen. 
Okay. This is what it looks like. The application looks the same. Start scrolling. Okay, that's loading these images quite quickly. And if we scroll back up and down. Okay, we're getting good performance from Glide straight out of the bat. We haven't had to try and do any resizing or anything. So Glide's looking good. And it did seem to load the images quite quickly as well. So that's Glide. Um, as an alternative to implementing your own um, caching solution um, out of the box, just one line of code basically, Glide seems to work well. Okay, so that's the end of the um, implementation for Glide on our Recycle View image gallery. Um, quite successful. Glide out of the box seems to work quite well. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, no worries with Glide. If you enjoy my tutorials, subscribe. That's all for this one. Bye for now. Straight out of the bat, we can see that the images here are what we've fed into the resize of our Picasso library. And scrolling, okay, we're just still loading these images into the cache. 